Getting right into today's video, we're gonna be doing Britney's Lovely Nails. If you did not know who she is, it is my lovely client with the very long stiletto nails, as you can see, and the beautiful tattoos all over her hands. So, if you are new to my channel, now you know. But my girl Brittany, if you haven't been following our journey, she officially has an allergic reaction to one of the products that I use. I've been doing her nails every two to three weeks for the past five years, I would say. So, it's one of the products that I have been using on her. And we are on the hunt to kind of narrow it down and see what is causing irritation. We have all came to the conclusion that it might be Hema. So I have officially switched out all of her products. We are going to be doing one last final attempt of still trying to use acrylic on her by switching out all the products into Hema free products. And if this does not work, if that fails, we will officially be switching her to Builder Gel. And I already notified her of that and she's totally on par with it as long as I continue to do her nails. So we're just gonna continue to remove that. I'm using my dust collector, like I mentioned, for research purposes. We're hoping that you guys can see how very little suction it is doing. It's very loud, so that's kind of why I don't use it. It is extremely annoying to try to talk over it and we do a lot of you know gossiping girl talk in the salon while i'm doing everyone's nails so i didn't already like the sound of it um not only that i feel like the suction is just not there you can see dust everywhere on my hands on her fingers it literally goes onto my armrest on my paper on my towels like everything is just covered with dust so it's not doing a very good job. For research purposes, we're gonna be taking my Kiara Sky dust collector in the next appointment that I have with Brittany because her nails are very long and very thick. We do get a lot of dust, obviously, from all the filing. So we're gonna really put it to the test with her nails. I'm gonna be going in now with my hand file and just filing the sides, reshaping those nails so that they are super, super sharp, nice and crisp. The key is to envision one straight line right down the middle and then you file both sides until that point is super, super sharp. So I'm gonna continue to do that until I am content. Y'all, her nails have gotten so long and it is insane that I didn't notice it until now, but I just love the look of them. It is amazing how she could function on her daily day-to-day -day basis with these long nails. It just reminds me of when I was getting my long nails and now I miss them. So we're gonna be giving her props for that because I did not realize how long they have gotten. Now I'm gonna be going in with my mandrel bit and sanding band. We're gonna be pushing back her cuticles very gently. I do very minimal amount of work on her cuticles, specifically as she has requested. Not only that, I don't wanna add any type of anything to her cuticles that are already sensitive to whatever products I'm using. So we're just gonna try to steer clear from it. I still am trying to push them back very so lightly so that I can get the best adhesion of all the products that I'm putting on her nails. So bypass the fact that her cuticles need a little bit of love. We're gonna be going in at a speed of 4,000 RPMs, buffing that shine off, removing any dead skin and any lifting she may have. She has a little bit on that finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and just focus on that acrylic and make sure that I fully remove that lifted area. Super, super simple. Once the acrylic is nice and thin, it is a lot easier to remove that. So always note, if you're doing a super simple fill on a client and they have lifting, try to thin it all the way out with a carbide bit and then go in with a mandrel bit and it should be a very easy process to do. We're quickly cleaning off the surface. I'm trying to stay away from her skin so that I don't irritate them. 
But we're gonna be going in with the primer. This is the acrylic primer from Kiara Sky. They are HEMA free, so I figured I would go ahead and use that. I am leaving the smallest amount of space between her natural nail and her skin. I'm trying to avoid any type of skin contact with any product that I'm using throughout this entire process to minimize any reaction she might have. So this is a little bit of a thicker product which makes it a little bit easier. It's not gonna overly flow into the cuticles like a lot of primers do. No matter how much you try to stay away from the cuticle or the skin, if I feel like it just kind of evaporates into it and kind of just runs into it naturally. So this is a really good option. And then we're gonna go straight into our acrylic application. I am going to be doing a three color ombre, which I am so excited about because the colors are absolutely stunning. And for the summertime, I live for all the neons. Beautiful green color is from Kiara Sky and it is called Bed On Me. Super, super beautiful, very, very vibrant. And then I'm just pretty much focusing on the tip portion for that color. Then we're gonna be going in with this beautiful teal aqua type of blue. I am obsessed with it. It is called Don't Kiss and Teal. The beautiful blue color that we see here. I love it because it's not like quite a sky blue, but it's also not a true blue is called Brain Freeze from Not Polish. And we're just gonna be ombre all those three colors together. Very, very simple. Keeping the transition area nice and thin is gonna be key. And I almost feel like it's easier if you don't let the color dry and go directly in with the second color. They just blend a lot easier than how you saw me kind of put the green and then I went back to the other nail. Definitely don't recommend that. Just go straight into the next colors. They will blend a lot easier. Again, I'm switching out all of her products to minimize any type of reaction. So for my monomer, I'm using the Kiara Sky monomer, which is also HEMA free. We love that. Definitely gonna see how her skin reacts to it. But again, I'm trying to stay as far away as possible to any type of contact to her skin. And then of course, the Kiara Sky brush in a size 14 for this application process. Once I'm done doing that ombre, I'm gonna be going in and encapsulating. I always do this, especially when I'm doing ombre nails so that I can protect those transition portions. And I feel like a lot of the time, whenever you kind of see a nail from a different angle, that does not look blended. And I know you guys can kind of see that on some of the angles whenever her nails are kind of facing downwards. But once you're done with the design, do not worry about it. It's gonna look absolutely stunning as long as you have all those areas nice and thin and blended. It should be good to go. So we're just gonna be going in and encapsulating the nail with that clear acrylic. This one is just the clear acrylic from Not Polish. So if you guys are interested in a good clear, definitely recommend theirs. I'm going in and filing the entire nail using my e-file, same bit that I used earlier at 11,000 RPMs. I focus first on that cuticle area and then I kind of just roughly go on top of the entire nail to smooth everything out. I try to focus on my application, but I always tell you guys that you should never skip this step. No matter how clean your application is, always go in and finish file so that it is super, super flawless. Algo 
sentí que me tiene mal Una belleza que me quema Cuando guardo la nota me estalla Mami, ¿qué más? Hay algo en ti que me tiene mal Sé que anda puesta para el problema Dale, guarda Que yo te doy falla, falla and then one last shaping process with my Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick file. Y'all can use whatever hand file you like, but I absolutely adore these. They are my favorite go-to no matter what. I just always come back to the Tammy Taylor files. They're just so good and very, very easy to dispose and sanitize the little pink plastic portion of it. We're going in side to side filing it. I'm doing very minimal amount of filing because I already pre-shaped them. And I always like to tuck in that acrylic so that it doesn't overflow and make the nail super bulky. So I'm pretty much just tightening and like making everything super, super crisp at this point. We're going in with the Kiara Sky Buffers again, just buffing that surface so that everything is nice and smooth. We're gonna be doing nail art on the entire nail pretty much. So no matter what area I'm at, I wanna make sure that it is super, super smooth. And as always, I have an alternative buffer on my Amazon storefront. If you guys are interested, I'll leave that link down below too. They're a little bit cheaper and they have different colors available as well. Y'all don't laugh at me, but whenever it comes to nail art that is not super common or I'm not used to doing, I get lost. So I've also noticed when something is a little bit more distorted than perfect, I overthink it a lot more. So I ended up having to do one little flower as my reference and then we kind of just copy paste it on the rest of the nails we are going to be doing spongebob squarepants sky nails so if the design hasn't came together yet at this point it should give you all the spongebob vibes so we're going to be doing a combination of purple yellow green and blue if i'm not mistaken they're all pastel colors so that they could pop a little bit more instead of using neons i feel like they would have definitely just blended into the such rich colors that we used for our ombre. The key to these flowers is to not overthink it as I say it all the time, but you pretty much want a thinner base and then bring it out into almost like a circle and then bring it back in. Five little petals is also gonna be the key for it to look nice and cohesive right there. I did four and it just looked a little off. And they don't have to be perfect. They could be a little bit wonky. Some of them can be a little bit bigger. They can be a little bit lopsided. The key is just to have that type of shape to all of the petals. And then I'm just gonna continue that in the rest of the colors. I'm using my Not Polish Nail Art brush and I actually am going to be curing all of the purple ones first, working on the next hand, and then we're gonna come back with all the rest of the colors. Now for the green, I did end up mixing a pastel green with a neon green because I wanted it to pop a little bit more. Y'all know she loves her green. So I wanted to make sure that those really stood out. I kind of felt like the purple was a little bit washed out. You can still kind of see it, but it wasn't as vibrant as I would have wanted it to. So I definitely wanted to make sure that the green ones stood out a little bit more. I'm pretty much just kind of placing them wherever I feel like it'll look good. And you can make some bigger, some smaller, um, just kind of spread them throughout the entire nail.
And then for our blue, I took a teal and a little bit of a light blue and mixed those together and got this beautiful color that kind of matches that middle color that we used for the ombre. Absolutely love it. I feel like the colors just complement the ombre very, very well. Always make sure to cure in the light for 60 seconds, especially when you're using gel paints. 10 out of 10, make sure you are curing it for at least 60 seconds. If not, go two rounds of those 60 seconds and you should be good. They are very thick, highly pigmented, so you wanna make sure that all the layers are fully cured. And lastly, since I was already using all pretty much Kiara Sky products, I figured I would go ahead and use one of their top coats. This is actually the Rub-On Chrome Top Coat. It is the one that you use as your base for chrome. And I figured I would go ahead and try it out because it says non-wipe top coat, so I figured it would be the same thing. I'll keep you guys updated on how her nails last. But as far as I know, it's pretty much the same thing. Now, quick little spoiler, it has now been a few days after I did Britney's nails. She did go ahead and let me know that she hasn't had any reaction. She hasn't had any inflammation, no irritation, no nothing. So this might be the key to salvaging her acrylic nails. If you guys have been struggling with any type of allergic reaction, definitely recommend to use a HEMA-free product like the Kiara Sky one. So just rubbing in some cuticle oil into her cuticles and that pretty much concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton and I'll see y'all next time. Mi amor.